Hey everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Underrail. So, I've decided to go to this new area, Crossing Station? Is that what it is? What's it called again? It's called Rail Crossing. Alright, so we're going to go to, yep, Rail Crossing and check it out. So... Before I do that, let me just look at my combat utilities and slot in um, something a little bit better up on up here. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm going to go stealth. I probably don't need to. These tunnels should be protected, but you never know what the riffraff are getting up to. Speed up. Uh-huh. These are impressive tunnels, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Moving. Something over there. Boy, the train doesn't get you very close to the station, does it? Now we're here. We've made it. Um, come out of stealth. Wait a minute. Oh. What is this garbage? I thought these were friendly people, and apparently not. So apparently to get to Southgate Station, you just have to walk by a group of thugs, and there's no security, or I'm sorry, rail crossing. There's just no security, and there's evil people everywhere. Um, I'm going to bleed out pretty soon. Um, okay, I'm just going to load uh, the auto save that looks good and think about this all over again you know what they said the sign was pointing to the left but maybe when they said go south they meant just go straight down it's always weird to like interpret northeast south and west when the map is um, at an angle like this, but I'm just going to pretend that that's the case. It was weird that I had to take so many steps um, to get there, but before I do that, just for my own amusement, I don't have very much sigh, by the way, energy, but I have enough to refill my bar one time. I don't like that these guys attack me. I'm not happy about it, so I'm going to try to take them down, and I'm going to try to do what I always do, which is just go into my bag. They don't see me. And, uh... Use some traps. And then that little bit of protection... I'm hoping will insulate me. Just enough. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for them to walk out. And I am going to just start combat. I'm going to say, Hi, how are you doing with this? Uh-huh. I know you don't like the cold. I am understand that. It is cold, isn't it? And then... So... My buddy... Um, Jean-Luc is always helping me. And he's reminding me that... When the UI shows the movement meter when you select an ability... It's meaning that... If I wanted to use telekinetic punch... I would in fact have to walk to where that little asterisk is... Um, at the end of my red line. And I don't have the action points to do that or the movement points, or any points. So, um, instead, uh, I'm just going to walk back a bit. 
And... Now, this person's going to just get free shots at me. I could just pre-med. Can I hit you with this now with premeditation? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, we'll just wait. And then now they're coming. Oh, they can shoot through the gate. I was hoping that this would provide some cover. Sweet Moses, it did not. Okay, so what do we do here? Let me stun um, this one. All right, we killed that one. And then let's just toss a grenade. Oh, they've got a psionic back there. That's scary. Oh, but I'm going to have to move to toss the grenade? No, toss it here. Yeah, hit yourself. Good job. Unbelievable. Um, but we're going to go way over here and try to get out of some of their line and stick the other ones in the, in the ground. Ah, uh, the heal up, huh? Alright. Okay, so we've got this guy, the Smasher, and the Psionic. Alright, let me see if... Can I scare you at all? Alright, you don't have to stand next to that guy, do you? Okay, so now he's stunned. Um, I need to recover my points. We got him. And then... Let me just go up here even further. Okay. Oh, no. Alright, that was not ideal, but it's okay now. So, what I'd like to do is just... Um, stun you, if I can. Oh, you're immune to being stunned. Did I stun you last time? I think I did. That's my mistake, then. Oh, no, you just have two rounds of that sitting there. Right, right, right. Let me flashbang, then, see how this goes. That worked pretty well. Um, so let me just, while they're doing that... Aw, oh, man. I didn't push it fast enough. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, that's enough attacks. No, it's not. Alright, fine. Whatever. I didn't understand how the flashbang was going to work. Um, I thought it would be longer than that. It was not. So, it worked out well. I just need to get better at using it. Let's try this again. And... I should definitely save it before I put down my traps. I need to frighten somebody right off the get-go. To just remove somebody from combat. It... And by the way, there is no reason to be doing what I'm doing. I just um, am angry at these people. Did you not finish putting down the trap for a reason? Huh. No, I think the game bugged because I had four traps and now I only have three. Something happened when I was setting down that trap. Alright, well that's fine. Whatever. Um, we're just going to engage you whenever you walk over and get the drop on you. Like this. I'll just repeat the exact same thing that I did before good, and then we'll go over here. I still will get shot, unfortunately, but not much I can do about that. Oh, it's neural overload. Whoa, that was a big chunk. Oh, no, they... 
So somehow this time I'm getting shot by both of them. That's that's bad. All right, we're gonna move. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. Very funny. I mean, honestly, I really like this game, but the grenade mechanics are probably my least favorite in any game that I've ever played. Um, there's just no reason for the amount of failures that they put in, at least in my opinion. I mean, it makes for some hilarious situations, but the idea that you would... I mean... If you look at my character, I know that my throwing isn't through the roof, but I put 20 points into this skill. You'd think with 20 points, it takes zero points to set a bear trap, which is a dangerous trap, by the way, zero. And you'd think with 20, when there's a, a mob of enemies in front of you, that you wouldn't hit yourself with a grenade. Um, when, anyway, so frequently, but... I guess they wanted otherwise. I probably for balance. If they didn't do that, then it would be too easy to just grenade everything. But anyway, I digress. I think for me personally, um, I would have preferred it if what they did was make it so it was about grenade damage and not grenade accuracy for skill. Okay, now I'm going to uh, save it and then move over here. And honestly, from here, can I like... Can I get that in there? Yeah, I can. It just will... Um, it's just too much. I'm going to end combat. Okay. Well, that's how that works. Um, and that's not good. I don't like how that played out. They all beat me on initiative, so using the stealth turn is going to be the best way to do it. Actually, I'm going to try it like this. I'm going to move myself over a little bit more so that I can get out of line of sight a bit better. Honestly. No, no, no. This is the only way to avoid damage from this turkey. And then I'm going to just drop over here. And maybe, probably not, but maybe I can not get hit as much. Alright, so interesting that that guy has never used electrokinesis on me. He's done neural overload every time. So I didn't know he had that in his bag. Um, and that's a shame. <laughs> Let's try it again. Thank you. Yep, that's that's exactly what I was trying to do right there, was whatever that just was. All right, maybe maybe from here I can get a better sh angle. I'll just wait till that person walks right out. Yep, enter. All right, now let's be very careful. Let's make sure that... Okay, so you do have to move to the right just a bit to land that. Okay, and then we're going to do this, and... Tully punch. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna just step step back up there. Okay, so this is the best position for doing this because they didn't get anything off on me. And then now what I can do is electrokinesis um, the psionic because that's honestly the one that I'm the most afraid of. It didn't kill that person? Wow. Wow, that's just awful. All right, let's try to 
not hit me. We did it. We didn't hit ourselves with the grenade. That's like an all-time record right there. Um, how many AP do I have? Ten? Is that enough to use my... Um, hypo? Oh my gosh. It's exactly enough to use my booster. That's perfect. Okay, and then I'm just going to try to go over here. And see what happens. Alright, so we got... Some people trapped, which is very good. Alright, so I need to stun the gunner if I can. Honestly, no, I think what I want to do is uh, frighten the gunner and then uh, just start putting let me look at this guy no no I just want to get his portrait so yeah I can't stun him for two turns I'd love to be able to just shoot him with cryokinesis but it's just like are you kidding me that I have to stand next to the melee guy because that's pretty much absolutely out of the question alright so I'm going to then just fire at this guy Uh, and do it a couple of times. Oh, okay, well, he's just dead. Electrokinesis is a bummer. I hope he can't kill me. All right. Okay, now it's my turn. Um, you are what? I can stun you again? Okay, good. Now it's my turn to do electrokinesis, buddy. We go to hell. I know. I know. I'm not playing fair, am I? I am out of um, psi points, though, so uh, that's bad. Hopefully I have enough in my bag to uh, get you. Oh, I've got um, pre-med. Let's just finish this guy off with premeditation, and then I'm going to walk away. Um, well, no, I don't have to. I could try to chase this gunner down. Oh, boy, that was a mistake. Okay, good. They're not... Uh, Kim, do we have enough to kill you? Oh, God, yes. Okay, good. We've got revenge. Sweet... Sweet revenge. Uh, okay. Um, end combat. And then... Let's just huff ether. It was worth it. Okay. Perfect. And then let me go over here. And we're going to save it. Make sure there wasn't somebody else in the camp who was just indisposed and didn't realize. Wow. See, this is totally worth it. Um, the psionicist had two inhalants and a booster. I mean, that's just outrageously good. Plus this really nice gun. This armor actually isn't bad, but we're not going to wear it. Smash Man, what'd you have? Oh, you had a bandage? Yes. Take that. Work coverall. That's funny. And a sledgehammer. Yeah. That's how you kill people. With a sledgehammer. Plasma cell sounds good. Antithermic insulated overcoat. Mechanical damage threshold increased by 200% against bullets and shotgun shells. Interesting. 
so that means that um, the mechanical resistance, which is 18, it gets way better against... This is actually pretty good armor. I'm going to um, overload myself and take this. Oh, I didn't... Actually, it doesn't weigh too much. I think I must have dumped enough stuff. That's fantastic. And how are you doing? You have this, which is so welcome. Oh, is yours better? Yours might be even better than the other one that I just picked up, but at the same time, it this one this one has better resists, but hurt your hurt your stealth even more. But honestly, that's okay. We're gonna go into rail crossing with a little bit of a haul. I killed some iron heads. I hope it's okay with you. Um, I don't really go around trying to kill people. Oh wow, there's explosive barrel. I could have just stealthed up then and like blown up these explosive barrels and probably taken them all down. I don't know if I can do that with psionics or if I need, you know, something else. Well, we got a train schedule out of it too. And a moon crossbow apparently. Bolts, rounds, and the oxygen tank is always good for making my own inhalants. Very nice. Let's just explore around a little bit more. See what's going on here. Well, that was a... Just turned out to be gangbusters. In terms of getting consumable items and a better coat. Like this coat that I have... Um, is good for stealthing, but that's about it. So let's just put on our new coat. You know, the other thing about this coat is the armor penalty isn't really that high. Ooh, cool. It changes my graphics. I look good. I gotta fix my sweet shoes. Wow, this area turns out to be pretty large. All right, so uh, let me get my trap. I'm going to need to get some more bear traps, although I think I probably have a lot at Southgate. Maybe not. Maybe I lied about that. Let's try to go to the actual place we meant to go to. Oh god. Well. Then, I gotta say... Um... Oh no, that's where you load the autosave? Boo! Come on. Why would you autosave it when I go in? You should autosave it before I go in. Yeah, this one. There you go. Goodness. Okay. So, well, then the sign must have been pointing to the right place. And so then, I guess on this map, then south is this way? And so, um, I was moving south, and I was just going to encounter those guys no matter what I did um, on the way. Okay, so then I didn't just murder people for no reason. They were just guarding the way to rail crossing, and they had to go. Okay. Well, um... I'm going to quickly save it and see if I can get into this screen without dying. Probably not, because I'm no longer stealthy. Like, I could try and get stealthy.
Okay, well, um, this time these Ironhead guys didn't get to drop on me in the same way. So, um, I apparently have no movement points, but that's okay. I'm going to just scare one of them, like the Grenade Man. <laughs> and then, uh, no, I'm going to pre-med... Uh, stun the bomber and then just start hitting this bomber until his head explodes there we go alright spare my life I beg of you yes that's what I'm going to do it will be spared we're going to hit you again and we're going to hit you again no, no, you're supposed to die right there. Hmm, I might be dead. How many AP do I have left? Zero? That's not good. I'm going to get really close to him so he doesn't uh, throw a grenade. He's trying to hit me, but his weapon is terrible. He must have some just awful crossbow that he's using. Okay. I'll pay for that? I don't think so. I think you're gonna pay for that, if you know what I mean. Um, Alright, let's just wait. And then... Can I see this other guy yet? Are you off the map? Yeah, I really can't even see you anymore. Um, where did you go? Boy, you really ran away. I mean... Hello? Well, now I'm scared, because what's going to happen is this guy's going to come back... And, yeah, throw a grenade and kill me. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that, I swear. I was like, you know what's going to happen? Is that guy's going to come back and get a dream grenade shot on me and just kill me in one shot. After everything that I just did. Yep. That's exactly what, I deserve that. I just... It's kind of frustrating, you know, he, he ran away in fear, but I couldn't see him anymore. Um, I should have been smarter about it. I should have... Woulda, shoulda, coulda, right? Um, okay, well... Let me try this one again. I really think I can do this. Oh, this is not the right... Well, it doesn't matter. As long as he doesn't grenade me. He didn't. Okay, so we can do this again. So what we do is we just terrify the grenade man <laughs> and then we're going to pre-med electricity into bomb man and then just start putting cryokinesis into this guy as much as we can now we should be able to kill him this time I think we did enough damage now that he will die and he won't be able to just heal himself. There we go. Alright, so he's dead. And I'm going to follow this guy so he can't get too far away from me. Boy, but he's doing a good job of it, huh? Alright, let's slow him down a little. He has two turns left of doing what he's doing, but we should be able to just drop him. Yeah, he's... he's... gone. Spare your life. No. I can't spare your life because you've already killed me twice with... at least... maybe three times with grenades. I just... I can't take that chance. Alright. Let's end the combat now. And let's go ahead and bandage. Feels good to have 32 bandages. How are you doing, Grenade Man? Alright. 
he had the frag grenade mark two, which is what I really want. This is a good piece of armor here. Um, I'll take this. Oh, he did Mark Three. This guy had better stuff. He was like the leader. He was like, give me all the good supplies. Are you sure? Yes. Alright, fantastic. And let me just save it and see what's in their little chest. Lock picking. Now that I can do something about. Ooh, I got an achievement called Skeleton Key. Nice. Aw, oh, they had food. These poor guys. Like, this was their, their dream stash. All their food. They were just trying to make a home for themselves and kill people who got off the train. Maybe I'm the villain. I should have just let them murder me and continue on their way. Okay. Oh wow, the map like somehow connects or gets close. So I wonder then if I could have just walked up here instead of taking the train. Probably, right? Alright. Well, we've made some amazing strides trying to get to rail crossing, and by that I mean we had to fight a pack of enemies in two different locations. So hopefully we get a little bit closer next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're still alive. Take care.